Do you lose control when you drink because you don't have an off switch and see yourself as somebody who just can't stop once you start? In the next three minutes, I'm gonna explain why those are lies and give you three truths that will set you free. I'm Colleen and I was a heavy daily drinker for over 15 years. And now I coach high achieving professional women to permanently reduce their alcohol consumption by 80%. So if you wanna learn more about how I do that, hit the follow. Here's the first truth. Our minds change all the time when we're exposed to trendy new ideas. I swore that I would never wear high-waisted jeans, cut my hair short, or get a tattoo. And yet, here I am with a bob, mom jeans, and a butterfly tattoo. Here's the second truth. Alcohol use disorder is a thinking problem, not a drinking problem. It's like a mind virus. At some point, you simply got infected with the idea that you can't control yourself when you're intoxicated. And now you're living in a self-fulfilling prophecy. But think about it. You can and do control yourself whenever you're properly motivated. If you have to drive your kids somewhere, or you're training for a marathon or a CrossFit event, or you're at a dinner party with your boss, the idea that you can't control yourself is false. The idea that you don't have an off switch is also bullshit. If you didn't have an off switch, you'd never stop drinking and you'd be dead. You know exactly how much alcohol you can tolerate. You know exactly how much to buy at the store. So your off switch may not be ideal or where you want it to be, but it's exactly where you believe it to be. No matter how crazy you feel like getting, there's always a line you won't cross. You're not doing shots, you're not drinking cheap beer, you're not gonna open another bottle after midnight, so there's your off switch, you found it. Saying you can't or don't stop once you start is a lie that you're telling yourself to avoid taking responsibility. And here's the third truth. Alcohol is not your problem, any more than razors are the problem for people who cut themselves. Your beliefs about alcohol are the problem. You don't lose control, you simply believe that uncontrolled drinking is fun and makes you happy. You need to stop and ask yourself, is that true? Is that always true? What else could be true? And what else would be possible for you if you allowed your mind to change instead of clinging to these shitty limiting beliefs? I have a one-year coaching program for women who wanna learn how to be happy so that alcohol can go back to being one of many pleasures instead of a soul-sucking problem. If you're ready to reclaim your power and find your joy, click the link in my bio and schedule a free consult.